What's going on guys? Lawson here. It is Saturday morning and I decided that I'm going to do a rod and reel arsenal video because I've had a few requests like for the past two or three months about people asking me to go over all the rods and reels I use and stuff. So I'm going to make a video today about going over what I like to use and what brand of reels and stuff like that. You know, as saltwater fishermen primarily, I don't have a huge giant pool of different bait casters and different reels like a lot of bass fishermen do where they'll have 15 different reels and stuff like that. I just got a few, four or five that I really like to use every day when I go out. So I'm going to go through those real quick and break them down for you. Alright, the first combo I'm going to talk about is my 1000 size Stratic FK is what it's called. And right here, this is my lightest reel I use and I have it paired with a 6 foot 9 um, Wright and McGill Blair Wiggins Signature Series Rod. It's a very light action rod and I have it on this really small reel and what I primarily use this for is finesse fishing around docks. So I use it to throw shrimp and stuff like that, you know, little shrimp, light flukes, all that kind of stuff. And it's only rigged only a 10 pound Power Pro on here and I typically rig it with a 20 pound leader to pitch around those docks and give a little abrasion resistance. And I use such a small setup around the docks because typically fishing docks with shrimp, you don't catch snook over 28 inches very often. The biggest one I've caught off a dock on a uh, DOA shrimp is 28 inches. So that's what I primarily use when fishing docks. It's a super light setup. And I'll keep chugging along, lay that down here. Next is a 3000s Shimano FK that I actually just got in the mail yesterday to replace my white FJ that the one of the bearings is shot in it that I need to have replaced and you guys saw a video a couple people commented saying that it sounded like my bearings were busted in it so I got a new reel and I'm having that one uh, fixed up. So with this 3000 it's a very versatile reel where I can rig it with small swim baits, finesse shrimp, artificial shrimp, little things like that. But I can even throw decent sized top waters and swim baits on it. And even some jigs. I'll jig on a bridge with these rods too. This is like my all purpose reel. I can use right here. I can catch a 12 inch snook on it still. And I can also land a 30 five inch snook. I've caught in big snook on these small 3000 size reel. This old FJ. I've caught in some 40 plus inch snook on it and it's held up for a year until it finally quit on me. But this is kind of like my go to general purpose rod that I use for almost everything. It's one of my favorite size reels to throw. It's this 3000. It just works perfectly. And the rod I have it paired with is a guide series gander edition rod that is seven feet long and it's a uh, medium to light action rod and the reason I use this gander guide series rod is because I uh, snapped two of my St. Croix's <laughs> and my, my girlfriend Alyssa was not very happy with that because one of them was her rod that I snapped but I replaced it with this gander guide series rod just for like a temporary replacement and it's worked out really amazing and I actually love this rod it's pretty funny actually you know, because the St. Croix were $120 rods, and this is like a $50 rod, and it's worked amazing for me. But, I'm going to keep chugging along here. Next is my 4,000 size Shimano FK, which I get a lot of work out of this rod. And this is what I've caught in all my huge jacks on that I posted the videos, those 25, 35 pound jacks. I've caught them on the FK, and I use this to throw big swim baits like I have rigged on right here. I throw my big giant top waters on this and I'll even pitch live mullet on this sometimes. And I'll also use this rod for jigging under bridges because this is a very stiff rod I have on here. It's a Crowder 6 foot 6 E series, a heavy action rod. And it works really well for baits over an ounce essentially that are really heavy and stiff that you can work. And this reel it holds up well, you know, I catch those big giant 35 pound jack on them and it's held up and it's worked awesome for me. And if I'm searching for big fish that day, this is my, my go-to reel right here, this 4000. Another one that I don't use a ton, but it's been getting a lot of use lately, 
is a Shimano 4500 bait caster. This is an old bait caster that we've had for a long time, but it works awesome. Um, and I have it paired on a, I think it's a six foot six Blair Wigman Signature Series rod by Wright and McGill. This is a big jigging rod, but I actually use it for live baiting mullet primarily. And I rigged this up with a 40 pound leader, and this is 45 pound braid, I believe, that I have on here. And this thing just holds up so well for those big snook and big jack. I uh, just two days ago of last week caught a 42 inch snook on this rod and it held up perfectly. Dude, this thing is a giant. This is one of the heaviest snook I've ever caught. He's not very long but it's just a monster. And no complaints about the action. It's perfect for flipping mold around bridges, docks, seawalls. And then the bait runner function, how that works is it activates it and essentially lets you free spool line out across like that. And then you can reel down to set your circle hook. And this is just a very awesome rod to use for live baiting. My last setup I'll go over is my bait caster that rarely gets used that much unless I'm bass fishing. And it is a Johnny Morris Signature Series bait caster. I don't honestly know a ton about bait casters because I'm just not a huge bass fisherman. But, you know, if you watch the bass fishermen, they have gear ratios they prefer and all that kind of stuff. And I'm kind of simple. I just like this is gate this uh, bait caster was a gift and I've been really happy with how it's worked out for me. I've had it over a year now and it's worked really well for me. And I have it paired on a hellbent rod. It is a seven foot medium fast rod. And I have 30 pound braid on here. And I was using this sometimes I'll put leader on. I have a 25 pound leader on here right now, but typically bass fishing, don't use a leader. But it's a very light rod and it works very well for Texas rig, pitching jigs, snowing frogs, all that kind of stuff I like to do a lot. All right, so those are my main five rods that get the most use when I'm out fishing. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that rod and reel arsenal breakdown. I know it's not the most exciting stuff, but I've had a couple people request over the past month that I talk about what gear I like to use, so there you go. But anyways, I really want to thank you guys for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. I know it's really not that big of a deal, but it's been awesome reaching that goal, and I'm going to keep posting videos. I'm doing it Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's been my, my upload schedule for the most part, so I'm going to stick to that and keep uploading all summer and hopefully keep growing this channel with the help of you guys, so I really appreciate you guys sharing my videos and telling your friends and all that. It's been really awesome. So thank you so much for that. So until next time, though, I'll catch you on Wednesday. Peace. All right. I hope you guys like the uh, Rod Arsenal breakdown. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world. It's actually All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs>